Hello, this is Real World News. My name is Eliza Woods. And my name is Katrin Gardner, and it's time to mind your business. The bidding war for Crown Resorts continues this week. On Monday, the American-based Blackstone Group offered to buy Crown for $6.5 billion in cash, but Crown said no. Meanwhile, the other suitor, Australia's Star Resort Group, is offering $9 billion in stock options. There's no word yet what Crown will do, but the bidding war hasn't hurt the company's share value. From Canberra, good news for Australia's last two oil refineries. As Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced this week that he's giving them $2.3 billion to stay open. That money will be shared evenly between Viva Energy in Geelong and Ampol here in Brisbane. News now from the World Health Organization. Apparently we are all working ourselves to death. This according to the WHO, which says working long hours is killing hundreds of thousands of people each year. According to the latest research, 745,000 people died in 2016 from stroke and heart disease. That's a 30% increase from the year 2000. The WHO says Australians are among the people most affected. Checking the markets now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down 54 points, the Nasdaq is down a fraction on one point, and the Australian ASX 200 is trading lower today. Those are your headlines and that's us minding your business. See you next time.